Hi guys and um, welcome to your 7th uh, Excel beginner tutorial and um, this tutorial is going to go into how to use the round function um, and I'll also show you how to use nested functions so you'll notice um, I've deleted the extra fields on here um, and I've formatted the cells so that they've got three decimal places um, you can put as many as you want on there. There's quite a few decimal places for all these numbers. Um, now, quite often um, in an Excel, you don't want to get um, this kind of number through. Um, and what you'll find is even if you put it down to one decimal point, the actual value of that cell it is still the the absolute value. Um, so for example if we go equals this cell um, and format this to general um, then you'll notice that it's still got the value um, of all the extra decimal points. So this is simply the format in which it's displayed, it's not the format in which the data is stored. So sometimes you don't want this, sometimes you want to cut this off yourself um, so in order to prove that it's happening, um, I'll put these back to general so that we get all of the decimal points. Uh, and we're going to rewrite our formula. Um, so if we delete this, and what we're going to do is we're going to put equals round open bracket. And then this is going to take two parameters. Um, and we haven't had a formula yet that takes two parameters. Um, simply all you do is you put one parameter, then a comma, and then the other parameter. You notice that when you're in the formula bar, uh, the the uh, what the parameters are comes up on here. So round is the number. So what is our number? Well, our number for this cell is going to be the average and this is where the nesting of formula comes in because rather than just putting a number we're putting a formula that evaluates to a number so we're going to put the average of these cells close bracket make sure you close the bracket off and then notice that it switches back then to the other formula so we're in the average formula close bracket we're back in the round formula um, and then so that's our number comma and then num digits is our next parameter which is the number of digits we want to round to so let's put one we want to round to one decimal point press enter and voila you'll see that the formula has come through if we drag that across then all of our averages are exactly as how we want them um, then let's take this formula put it in here um, and we don't want the average of those ones, we want the average of everything. So, enter, go. Um, and I've put that in the wrong cell, so let's undo that by clicking on the undo button. Um, and try again, so copy this one into here, um, and select these, and highlight everything enter and there we go we've got our average but rounded to one decimal place so this can be really really useful um, if you want the actual value of the cell to become a decimal point for future formulas um, what you will find is that um, if you've rounded them off then quite often you'll get a, a rounding error later on so if we go equal well if we take this exact formula um, and let's put our percentages in so that the formula doesn't change because we don't want it to uh, to be doing anything crazy this on this one um, there we go so I'll ensure that the formula stays exactly the same when we copy it down into the next cell um, and then we'll just take this out and we'll highlight these instead and um, these have come out the same 
um, but it would be very very easy uh, for um, us to get a rounding error on these uh, for example if they both rounded up rather than down uh, then you'd have a problem um, because they'd round up twice here whereas they'd only round up once over here um, so bear that in mind if you've ever got an error and you're using the round um, and you can't work out why try uh, removing the round and seeing it's because you've you've got a rounding error so thanks for listening uh, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.